We'll guide you through how to use Spotify for beginners. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. We'll guide you through how to use Spotify. This is the full beginner's guide. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. I'm making this guide on a phone, but you can also get Spotify on a computer as well. You can follow this guide as the features will go and cross over. So first of all, when you open up the Spotify app, you're going to be asked to go and log in. So you can go and create an account. And after you've done that, you can go and choose your favorite artist. Spotify will guide you through and we brought here. So at the moment, we're on the homepage. On the homepage, this is where Spotify is going to go and sort of give you playlists. You can go through an artist that may think you like. Um, and yeah, you can scroll through here. There are podcasts, charts and loads of different things. And once you go and start using Spotify more, this is going to become more sort of fine tuned to you. You can come to the bottom and click on search. And of course, here you can start browsing music, podcasts, audiobooks, and things like that. And then at the bottom, you've got your library. So once you start going and having uh, playlists and artists you listen to, they're going to go and appear here. And in the bottom right, you've got premium. So if you didn't know, premium is essentially a subscription to Spotify. And you can see all these benefits. There are quite a few there. Um, so yeah, consider getting that if you want it. And sometimes you may be able to go and get it for free for a certain amount of time as well. So let's go and get started. I think the first thing you want to do is go and start searching for music and creating playlists. So you can come to the bottom and click on search and you can then go and search for a song you may want. So I'm going to go and type in God's plan, for example, this is a song by Drake. So I want to go and make a playlist with this song in. So once you've gone and found it, first of all, if you want to go and play it, all you need to do is go and click on it like so, and the music play will open up at the bottom. You have a play pause button in the bottom right and you can then go and expand it to go and open it up and you can go and adjust sort of what part of the song you're listening to and you've got those sort of standard music controls here, you know, back and forth and play and pause. And also in the bottom right here, you've got a sort of a computer screen and a speaker icon. You can click here and play and on another device, which is quite cool. But to go and make a playlist with this, go to the right of the song and click on the three dots and click on add to playlist. We can then click on new playlist. I'm going to go and name this example, just like so. You can get more creative with it and click on create. And like so, we've now gone and added it to a playlist. And so what we can then do is return to search and we can go and add more songs. I can go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on add to playlist. And I can then select it as well. And quickly, just to go through, when you click on the three dots to the right of a song, you have got all these different options here. The main thing to look at is Q. That's quite useful. So you can add songs to your Q. So when one song ends, another will go and start. Alternatively, though, you can just go and use the playlist because then the different songs will go through and you can add them to a playlist which you want, which is what I prefer to do, really. So then what you can do is go and click on your library at the bottom. You'll go and see we've, our playlist is now here. I'll click here and you'll go and see the different songs. And what you can then do is you can go and over to the left here, if we start there, there's a download button. You can click there and you can go and download it. That does require Spotify Premium. There's the add button and you can go and add collaborators. So essentially other Spotify users could go and start being able to go and add music to the playlist. And then to the right of that, there are three dots. So you can go and um, add to the playlist, edit it, and there's a few different other options you can go through there as well. And then over to the right, you've gone and got the shuffle button. You can click on, click on the three dots and go and click on add to this playlist. And Spotify will go and find you recommendations to go and add, which sort of saves you from having to search and it allows you to find new music as well.